Hello again. In this video, we're going to look at the summary links area of your PeopleSite homepage. The summary links are intended to be a quick way to add links to high value resources and group them up if you desire. They're actually what's called a web part and can be used on any of your departmental pages as well. So this is a good uh, utility to be familiar with. We're going to assume that you've logged in and navigated to your people site. Here we are. And then we're just going to jump right in to start editing. So we go to our gear and we select edit page. We go into edit mode and then we go down here to our summary links area. Now what you're going to notice is that when you click here in the summary links area, the toolbar goes away in your ribbon up top. That's expected. Summary links actually are configured with the tools that live right inside of that summary links web part. To create a summary link, we use the far left tool. That opens up this window where we can start creating. By default, it creates a link to an item. That really is the option we always want to use. We don't ever really create a link to a person. So the title of the link can be anything that we want in traditional plain old spelling. In this case, I'm just going to call it Google. Now in description, I'm going to put what Google is. This is a pretty useful search engine, basic description. In the link URL, it's important that this be correct. If it's not, obviously it won't work because this, a, this is a direct hyperlink. So I happen to know for sure that the link of www.google.com is going to get you there. I put that there. And since this is a totally off-campus site, for sure I'd want that to open up in a new tab for the user. So we select this open link in new window checkmark. Now the tooltip is a useful little feature as well. When you hover over certain items, you'll notice that sometimes you get a little pop-up that tells you what it does. That's the tooltip. So here I'm going to put link to the Google page. Image URL is something that you can use to attach an image to the summary link, and then that's affected by how you choose to display it. In this case, we're not going to do it. We have uh, another on-demand video that's created for how to work with images and format them, change their sizes, and load them into your web page. You'd need to go through that process and make sure that you have an image loaded if it's one that you want to use. If this is an image off of the internet that you would like to use, you can just plug that value directly into here. Now in this case, I don't have an image URL. I'm going to go ahead and skip the image description as well. Style is the last option. Generally, you want your summary links to all be in the same style, but you can change the style for how it's displayed at the time of creating each one. In this case, we're going to go with image on the left. Image on the left and title and description, the two of these, they're basically the same thing, so they're kind of interchangeable. If you were to just leave it with the image, if you add an image later, it'll work. If you don't, no worries. So when we click OK after having reviewed all those fields, we see that now there's a Google link in here. You can also create groups within your summary links. Again, we use our tools here built into the menu to create a group. So I click on the second tool, group header name. We're just going to call this group 1. So when the group has been created and the link has been created and I check in the page, I get into my preview mode and I see my group title goes up top in this font and then all the links go down below. If I wanted to have more than one group, I would create the groups themselves so that I have as many as I want. In this case, we're just going to have a group two and we're going to have a group three. If I have multiple groups, when I go to create new summary links, you're going to see this field that was disabled before is now available. So let's go ahead and create another link. We're going to call this one NBC IT the Napa Valley College IT Department homepage. We're going to put a long description in this so you can see what it looks like. Now when I go to put in the link, I can put in the full link, but because this is a campus-based website, 
this portion of the URL, this entire first part, the HTTP www.napavalley.edu, SharePoint would understand if I only put in a slash that this is based on our college website. So it automatically fills in all the rest. So to get to the IT page, I would simply put in IT for the URL. And since this is an internal, I might not want it to open on an external link. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. And then for the tooltip, just like we did before, we call this one link to the NBC IT site. And again, I'm not using descriptions for the images. In the groups, I'm going to go ahead and assign this to group two. And maybe in this case, I'm going to use a different style just so that we have some variation. So we're going to put title with background and we're going to say OK. Well, there we go. There's group one with the original link. There's group two with the second link. I'm going to go ahead and add one more link just so that we have some variety of what we're working with here. So in this case, I'm going to link us to the A&R site. Napa Valley College Admissions and Records website. And again, since this is an internal website, I can use the URL for where the ANR website lives. In this case, it's not quite as simple as the URL that we would use for the IT web page. In this case, it's napavalley.edu slash student services slash AR. But again, you see I left off the first part of the URL, so there's no HTTP triple dub. It's just student services AR. Again, it's an internal site. Again, for the tooltip, link to ANR site. And in this case, now I'm going to put it in group three, and I'm going to go with a bulleted title, and I'm going to say OK. So now that I've created my three groups and my three links, I'm going to go ahead and check in the page to see what it looks like. So here we are. This is our preview mode, group one with that Google link, group two with that NBC link to the IT page, group three with that NBC link to the A&R site with a bulleted title. Once it's all ready, I publish the draft, and then these links are going to be available. As we had noted before, if I click on this Google link, it is going to open a new tab that I can close, and I'm still able to see my web pages here in the background. If I were to click on the A&R site link, and I close that out, it brings me right back. If I were to click on the NVC IT link, because I didn't tell it, this window has now navigated. I actually have to use the back button in my browser to get back to where I was. So that's it for the summary link parts. You can see that they're pretty easy to work with and configure. Feel free to work with them as much as you can, change them around, change the styles, and experiment till you get them looking exactly as you want. That concludes this video.